With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. I have a question that states, a magnetic compass needle is placed in the plane of paper near point A as shown in figure. In which plane should a straight current carrying conductor be placed so that it passes through A and there is no deflection in the compass? Under what condition is the deflection maximum and why? So we have a compass that is placed in the plane of paper. The question is asking us, there is a straight current carrying conductor and it passes through A. In which plane should we keep that conductor so that there is no deflection in this needle of the compass? So let's understand this using an example. For example, this is a plane of paper, okay, and this is our conductor, straight current carrying conductor. It has been placed in the same plane as that of compass. For example, this is our compass that is in the plane of the paper, and in the same place, we in the same plane we have placed a conductor so, uh, near some point A. This is point A. The thing about compass is that we have we almost have seen a compass. The needle of the compass only moves in the like it can only deflect in the horizontal plane. What does that mean? I'll tell you. That means that a, hor a needle can only move in this plane. Like it can go right and left, right and left, left and right, but it cannot go like down or it cannot come out like it cannot move in the vertical plane like it cannot go down nor it can come up even if the magnetic field is in that direction it can never do that right so we have placed we have to say first question is we have to say in what in what which plane should the conductor be placed so that the deflection is zero so that means we have to keep it in a plane where the magnetic field is in such a direction that the magnetic field should the magnetic needle should go either down or up but that's not possible so the deflection will be zero so let's see what's that plane actually this is a point a and if we play if we place this conductor in the same plane as that of a that means like this and then we use the right hand thumb rule to calculate the magnetic field. What does right hand thumb rule state? It states that if our thumb points in the direction of current, then the curl of the fingers gives the direction of magnetic field. Okay, so this is the direction of current. Current is moving like this, going upwards. So the magnetic field will be in the direction, in this direction. Get that? It's like going into the paper. Like uh, this is the direction of current, magnetic field will be like this because this this is the curl of my fingers, so the magnetic field will be into the paper. And what does that mean? That means, uh, like imagine this, the magnetic field lines are going like this, going in then coming out, going in then coming out, like forming those perpendicular closed loops. Okay, like this, like uh, you can imagine a circular loop around this conductor that is perpendicular to the plane of paper so the magnetic field is changing perpendicular right will there be any deflection in this needle no because that means the needle has to go down and then up but it's not free to do that it cannot do that so there will be no deflection in the needle okay first question solved Second is, under what condition will there be the maximum deflection and why? Okay, now we know that the, the needle can only move in the horizontal plane. That's easy. If we place our conductor something like this, like perpendicular to the plane of paper, using right hand thumb rule, the direction of the current is like this, so our magnetic field will be like this. And when that will be like this, there is the uh, the magnetic fields uh, lines or curves are forming on the plane of the paper that means on the horizontal plane of the paper there will be deflection right because 
it will force this needle to move in the direction of the magnetic field and there will be maximum deflection that's all sir question so if we place the conductor in the plane of the paper in the plane in the plane same as that of compass there will be no deflection and the reason I gave you like why does it happen and number B is if we place it perpendicular to the place of paper perpendicular to the plane of let's say compass there will be maximum deflection okay that completes the question for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.